Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. And here I am, Jody and I, we're on our way home Tuesday morning from an appointment. And look at that sky. She is gorgeous. But look, yep, don't let that sun and that beautiful sky fool you. It's cold out there. So here I am, family. I'm back in my garden. Hmm. Where I want to be. Where I want to be. <laughs> it is a beautiful day, but last night it was like 44 degrees very very cold for me and as i sit here now it's about 57 degrees out here mm, it's a little chilly but the sun is real it feels real good out here y'all it feels real good and as you can see the garden yeah she she's loving this this uh this weather she's loving it so today, I'm going to walk around with you all and share some of the uh, the plants I have growing in my garden to, today. Yeah, we're going to see what's growing. And also, I'm going to be dropping some seeds, of course. <laughs> and this is the way, family, I just continuously have food growing in my garden at all times. Spacing out your seeds, right? I space out my seeds two weeks, three weeks apart so that everything will not uh, be ready for harvest at the same time. Also, it assures me that I'm going to have vegetables growing all year long, family. All year long. Now, of course, here in my zone, this is what I can do. But if you live in a cold climate yeah then maybe you must drop seeds inside but this is the way i do this is the way i have it all the time now as i said last night we got down to 44 degrees and nope my candy roaster squash nope she did not like that weather so what i did i took her off the plant yeah, I brought her inside and I put her on my kitchen table and I'm going to let her sit there for a little while. But mm -hmm, I'm going over to Food by Faith. Yep. And I'm going to find out how to cook this baby because I want it. I want it, y'all. <laughs> so all my life, someone asked me about my butterfly pea plants and what the weather was doing to them. So peas can definitely handle this weather. Um, and as you can see, this is one uh, batch of my butterfly peas. Uh, I have some in another bed. Well, it's Jada's bed. And Jada peas are just as beautiful. I'm mainly, I'm just waiting for all of the peas to uh, turn this khaki brown right here. If I can reach it yeah there it is and when they all turn this khaki brown i just harvest every day and when i got them all i'm going to take this plant down as you can see she's still making flowers but i let the flowers stay on just so she could go ahead on and make her peas and ba mainly i'm not looking for more peas i just want her peas to turn brown mm -hmm. So as I talked about a kitchen garden on my live on Sunday night and Tuesday night, um, this is my area of my kitchen garden. And there I have arugula, I have green onions, I have celery, also I have dill. Now these are just some of the vegetables that I use daily. I use these daily, especially like these green onions. And what I do is I just come out, I harvest, I clean, chop, and I put it in my meals. This is one of my grow beds, and yeah, the vegetables are amazing in this bed. You know, sometimes you will have a raised bed or grow bags that just does better than others. You know, the vegetables look more healthier than others. So this is that bed for me. She is just a 
beautiful bed. Now this soil was from my sweet potatoes. And of course, this is my number two fertilizer. Yeah, and she always plays a huge role in my garden. Oh, she got her spot in my garden. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that's 511 down there, yeah. These are my sweet potatoes and they are still growing beautifully. As you can see, I have uh, just a few slips in this bag and they are, they are still growing. So I'm excited about them, yeah. <laughs> and of course I came out and checked up on my new plantain uh, blossom. So this is the latest one. I have four uh, racks on the plantain trees as of today. This is another one I have in the same area with her. And they are all doing really, really, really good. Even though this weather is cold, uh, the plantains will continuously, uh, spring, summer, and fall, they will continuously give me food. Continuously, family. And this is why I love them so. And of course, this is some um, kohlrabis and uh, Brussels sprout, the purple Brussels sprouts. Yeah. And they are over here by my kitchen garden. I have them over here because the other day I used some of the leaves in a stir fry. Yeah, I wanted that purple in there, you know, that anthocyanus. It's a superfood, family. It's a superfood. So I was excited to uh, get that into my system. These plants are just huge. And of course, I must and I will uh, say that the reason they are so big and healthy is for the fertilizers. It's because of the fertilizers I use. Now here are some seeds that I dropped with you all. Yeah, but I was really concerned about one of them, this one. That's the calaboose, y'all. That's the calaboose cabbage and finally, she germinated. Now these plants have been sitting, these cups have been sitting right here outside. No need to cover them. Now, if you're looking for something fast and quick, go ahead on and cover them with something. But seriously, there is no need to cover these seeds. They will germinate. Yeah, this is my lemon balm. And as you can see, they are really just huge. My grandson came out uh, the other day and he got some lemon balm spearmint and I have some mullein in the house and uh, he needed a tea. He said he needed something for his throat. This is spearmint family. Yeah, spearmint and peppermint in this bed. And yeah, so this is something that I go to maybe two or three times a week just for teas um, because of the weather. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the Xenas, <laughs> they don't die, baby. They don't die. <laughs> they continuously grow here in my garden. And of course, my fig trees. And over there on the side, there is my purple angel trumpets and they are all blooming this morning yeah they look beautiful and i'm waiting for the blooms to come out mm -hmm. they look like pillows i tell you and my fig trees they are all doing well in this cold weather and this is my pomegranate yeah she loving this weather she loving this weather i tell you but they all are doing well. And this is the dill and cabbage. Also, there's an endive plant in here. And that's another thing is that the dill also helps to deter the, uh, the pests. Let me say that again. <laughs> the dill also help in deterring the pests. <laughs> So they're doing really good over here in this Nikki bag. Yeah. 
and the cabbages are getting really big and I'm excited about them all. Yep. And this is my number one fertilizer, y'all. This is super juice. Now, as you can see, I did pull up some plants and of course, this is where they're going to continuously help me in my garden and feed me. And I just put them all right here in this super juice. So we had a lot of rain and mm -hmm, I will be feeding my plants very soon, probably on Saturday. They will all get some of this super juice and it is ready, y'all. Y'all see that brown? Y'all see that brown? Ah! <laughs> yeah, and she smell like it too, y'all. She smell ready. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And the thing about it is my plants absolutely love it because when I give them this super juice, mm -hmm, they show me, they show me that they love it. Yeah, they respond amazingly, y'all, amazingly. So if you never tried super juice, go on, give it a little shot. Give it a shot. I tell you what, you will never go back to the store-bought fertilizers. No. <laughs> Just allow your garden to feed the garden. Here's some of my little uh, containers. I just planted these cabbages in here just for starters, you know, just to start them. And when they get bigger, I'm going to put them in the beds so they can grow nice and big. This is my Moringa tree in that little red box. And as you can see, she she love it because it goes straight to the ground. This is my Moringa tree that is full of pods yep she is full of pods and we've been harvesting them every day every day when they turn brown we take them off i have about 50 pods or more of moringas in the house and as you can see the tree is still full of pods she is full family yeah i'm gonna find a way of how i can get a lot of these seeds out to you all right so today this of course this is again this is my um arugula that's not arugula i'm sorry that is another plant i have and i was sharing with you all the yellow plant at the bottom and th and this is because of no sun you know when you have these big leaves sometimes the, some leaves will not see the sun this is my little banana tree from Odom Homestead. I haven't figured out where I'm going to place her yet, but I will soon, man. And this is Jada's butterfly peas. And as you can see, her butterfly pea plants are also giving seeds. That's another seed family. I would like to figure out a way of how I can get many of them out to you all because I have a lot, a lot, <laughs> yeah. So today I'm dropping some more leeks, yeah. Now I love leeks. Um, of course I use them as I would use my um, green onions or regular onions, uh, but I also like uh, a leek and potato soup, yeah, but you know, I kind of jazz it up a little bit, you know. That's that New Orleans in me, I guess. But when I do prepare this leek and potato soup, I will share it with you all so you can see just how I do it, right? Yeah, I like flavor, family. Uh, flavor is the thing for me. Not necessarily a lot of heat, but a whole lot of flavor. Yes, that's what I like. <laughs> so I'm dropping these leeks and as you can see, the sun is shining beautifully. It looks and it feels great out here, even though it's a little chilly, but the sun is definitely shining on me, y'all. She's shining on me and I'm getting these leeks in the bed. Yeah, 
So these leeks are really uh, big and healthy. These, this is a, a Baker Creek seed, right? And uh, I love these leeks. They grow nice and tall and healthy. And uh, I love them, y'all. So I have them in this little, it's a Dollar Tree container. I think I paid like $5 for this one. But it's going to serve me well. It's going to serve me well. And now I'm just covering up all my seeds. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy walking around my garden with me today. And just to share some of the uh, vegetables that I have growing. And just to share with you all that in order to have food all year round is to drop seeds uh, about two weeks apart. That's to help you not have to harvest everything all at once, right? Yeah, but always remember to drop your seeds, baby. I love coming out to my garden and harvesting every single day, every day. I love that kitchen garden. And now here they are, they all planted and watered in. And now I'm ready to get in because it's time to eat lunch. <laughs> I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video. Later, y'all.